Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jill, I'm just so happy that this business is off to such a great start. In a few years, we'll be out of debt and we'll be doing really well. Oh, I love you, Jack. I'm so proud of you. We're going to have the best life ever. Jack, watch out for that mud. Jack fell down and broke his crown. Oh no, Jack! And Jill came tumbling after. Oh no! What am I gonna do now? Due to an unforeseen accident, Jack died at exactly the wrong time. Jack and Jill were a young family with a few kids, and they, like many families, had debts from their student loans and from their credit cards. But they had dreams of sending their kids to college. And Jack's water delivery business was going to be their ticket to the life that they always wanted. Without Jack around, all the burden falls on Jill alone. And she has her own medical problems and the bills that come along with it. It could be months or even years before Jill is able to hold down a regular job again. How's she going to do it? She ain't got Jack squat. What would have helped a ton is having life insurance. True, it would still be very sad without Jack around, but if they had some life insurance, Jill would have the money to pay off those debts. Jill could afford to get some help while she recovered. They would have some money to handle the living expenses while Jill looked for another job, and the kids would still be able to go to college. If they had life insurance, the family could still afford to make all their dreams come true, but instead, they're stuck with sleepless nights full of doubt and uncertainty. So when do you need insurance? Here's a way to think about when you need insurance and when you don't. When you're a young family and you have little money, but your responsibilities are high, you're paying for a bunch of kids and their clothes and their shoes and their braces and their bicycles, and you're trying to buy a house, etc. You're just getting started financially, and your assets haven't had time to grow. This is the time when your net worth is at its lowest, but your responsibilities are at their highest. That is when you need life insurance the most. You want to make sure that all your responsibilities are taken care of, even if the breadwinner, meaning the one who makes most of the money in the family, even if they're not around, everything will still work out. As you grow older, your money's had time to grow. You've saved up more wealth, and eventually, your kids are out of the house and they're taking care of themselves. At that point, you don't have all those responsibilities anymore. If something did come up, you'd have the savings and investments to cover those costs. When that happens, you don't need life insurance anymore. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and subscribe so you can get more great content. So now we know when it makes sense to have life insurance, but who needs to be insured? Now in our story, Jack is what we call the breadwinner because he's the one who makes most of the money in the family. Now when your responsibilities are high, insuring the breadwinner is a great idea. Now here's something a lot of people don't think about. Insuring the breadwinner's partner might also be a good idea. Because think about it. Now, if the breadwinner's partner is taking care of the kids or taking care of the home, or otherwise providing a lot of value for the home, then it might make a lot of sense to insure the breadwinner's partner as well. Although they might not be benefiting the family by producing an income, they make it possible for the breadwinner to go to work and do their job. That is very valuable. And if the partner weren't there, and now the breadwinner has to spend a lot more time taking care of the kids or the home or whatever it might be, then insuring the partner will allow the breadwinner to have the help that they need so that they continue to work and support the family financially. If you aren't counting on the partner to pay for the mortgage or to save money for the kids' college, etc., then you don't have to insure the partner for as much as the breadwinner. But having some amount of insurance on the partner will make things a lot easier for the breadwinner if the partner weren't around. Now, what would it cost to insure Jack and perhaps even Jill? Well, it depends on a bunch of factors like your age and your general health and whether you smoke and where you live, things like that. But regardless, they can probably get a decent amount of coverage for both of them for less than like $100 a month. Now, if that seems like way too much money for you to be able to afford each month, then you definitely need life insurance to cover your family in your absence. Now, there are many different types of life insurance policies because there are many ways that life insurance can be used to your advantage. What Jack and Jill needed to do was they needed to utilize the death benefit of life insurance. Now for that, the least expensive is usually what's called term life insurance. And what that is, is it works similar to the way your car insurance works. While you're paying, you're getting coverage. But if you stop paying, coverage stops. That's why it's least expensive. The insurance company only pays out if the insured dies while paying for the policy. 
If they stop paying or don't die while they're paying for the policy, the insurance company never has to write a check. There's no cash value built up in the policy. Cash value is when, in addition to the insurance coverage, there's also a sort of investment as well. Now, there are other types of policies that will have a guaranteed payout in the future. For example, a whole life policy. With a whole life policy, you pay a bunch for a while and then eventually you've paid enough that you don't have to pay anymore. And what happens is you get to keep the coverage and you're guaranteed a payment in the future when the insured passes away. Now, some people like knowing that they're definitely going to get that payout in the future. The problem is that in order to guarantee that you're going to have that future payout, it costs a lot more money each month to have that coverage. As we mentioned before, you need coverage in those early years when your responsibilities are high, but your wealth is low. If you're just looking for inexpensive life insurance that'll cover you if there's an untimely death in the family, then term life insurance is the way to go. Now, there might be situations where policies besides term life make sense for you, but what you need is a knowledgeable insurance broker that'll sit down with you and explain to you the differences in the policies to your satisfaction. Now, it's important to realize that since whole life insurance is more expensive than term life insurance, the commission that the insurance broker gets is also higher. So now, if you feel like the insurance broker is just trying to steer you towards the more expensive policy, but isn't really explaining why the less expensive policy isn't good for you, then you need to get a second opinion. Insurance is there to protect your family, so make sure that you feel comfortable with what it is that you're buying. Make sure that you don't feel pressured into buying anything. Do what you need to do to protect your family. Jack and Jill were a loving young couple with their whole lives ahead of them, but unfortunately tragedy can strike when you least expect it. Now I speak from personal experience. My father passed away when I was just 12 years old. Having a little bit of life insurance can go a long way to making sure that everything is still okay even when Jack's not around. Make sure that your family will be taken care of even if you aren't around anymore. Please share this video with someone in those early family years. That way they'll be able to understand how and why life insurance can help their family. Go ahead and click up here for a video that'll show you a roadmap to getting to financial freedom. Click down here for another video that'll help you and your family develop a healthy relationship with money. I'm Nadav the so financially savvy parent that you always wish you had. I appreciate you joining the family and I really want to help you and your family have an enjoyable and secure life together.